it's not perfect. There are some things that I don't like about it. There are, you know, some things that I experienced that, you know, I didn't really like, but. What's up everybody, I'm Serena Kay and I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. Okay, so I recently just graduated from Texas A&M University with a major in communications and a minor in economics. And I figured that in this video, I would give you guys just like some things that you need to know about A&M. So if you are a new freshman at A&M, if you are a transfer at A&M, or if you're considering A&M, or if you are just curious, this video is gonna give you like some things that you really, really need to know about A&M. So I'm gonna be listing eight things that you need to know about Texas A&M University. Now, the very first thing that you need to know about A&M is that you will walk a lot and you will walk long distances a lot. I wasn't prepared for that. Like I knew the campus was big, but I didn't think it was that big. So definitely bring your walking shoes and like your workout clothes or something comfortable because you are going to be walking a lot. They do have buses, um, but sometimes you take the bus and you still have to walk quite a distance. So be prepared for that. Now, the second thing that I would say about Anum is like tailgating and football games are very, very big deal. We take those very seriously. Every Saturday during football season, people come from all over, campus is packed. You have people tailgating, you have like people like just mingling and then like the game is like the game, you know, you go to the game. I have to admit, I only went to one game and that was a scrimmage because it was free. I didn't really go to any of like the games and was able to tailgate and do all of that. Um, so that is kind of something that I sort of regret, but the good thing is that now that I'm an alumna, I can always go back and go to a game and do all of that. So it's not going anywhere. I, I have time to do it. I'll do it in the future. Now, the third thing that you need to know about A&M is that traditions are taken very seriously. We're very traditional in our traditions. So what's the tradition at A&M? Um, Okay, there's Midnight Yell. So Midnight Yell is basically where at midnight, the night before you have a game, you go to Kyle Fields to practice the yells. So at a and we have five yell leaders. And those yell leaders come out along with, I think the core cadets, if I remember, as well as the band. And everybody like comes out, they have like a procession, and then we yell the yells for the game. And it's pretty fun. It doesn't even last that long. It's probably like 30 minutes. Um, Cause I went to one and it was about 30 minutes, but I had a good time. So Midnight Yell is actually, was I would say one of my favorite traditions. Now, number four, this goes as far as academics. So academically, um, in my opinion, A&M is challenging. So you will have to work very, very hard to do well in your classes. Obviously, you have some classes that are easier than others, but in my experience, even the so-called easier classes, I still had to put some kind of work in them to do really well. So don't get complacent, stay on top of your things, and you should be fine. The fifth thing that I would say is the Aggie Honor Code is highly enforced. So if you don't know what the Aggie Honor Code is, the Aggie Honor Code simply says, an Aggie does not lie, cheat, steal, nor tolerate those who do. And the school takes that very, very seriously because I have seen countless occasions of where people have cheated or, you know, like they cheat, still lie or whatever and they have suffered serious consequences from it. So my advice to you is be honest, okay? Don't cheat, don't do anything. It's really not worth getting potentially kicked out of the university for, and yeah, so make wise decisions. Now, number six is ring day. Ring day is probably next to your graduation day, 
But next to your graduation day, one of the most important and most rewarding days of your college career at A&M. Ring day is where people from all over, their families come together and you get your Aggie ring. In order for you to qualify to even order your ring, you have to have at least 90 hours total and at least 45 hours in the university. So university hours. You go to a building and um, you basically like order your Aggie ring. You say, hey, I wanna go to my Aggie ring. They take you upstairs into like this office and you try to try on the size, you get to customize it. It's really cool. And then come ring day, then that's when you would dress up nice with your family, you take pictures and you get your ring. I left my ring upstairs, but um, I might show it to you in like a, a next video. But basically my ring, it just has my name inside and the class of 19, well, 19, because that's the year I graduated. And the year, your graduation year faces out. That is getting your Aggie ring. Honestly, like when you get your ring, it is the most exciting feeling ever. The seventh thing that you need to know about A&M. So if you are considering A&M, or if you're just starting at A&M, I will want you to know that there are countless organizations and networks that you can get involved in. Like you will not be bored there. There was, an organization or a network for something so I would say take advantage of those I transferred to a &M as a junior because I went to community college for two years but if I could go back in time and if I had the money I would just go for all four years because I realized that they had so much to offer and I didn't really have a lot of time to really take advantage of it but I took advantage of as much as I could but yes Take advantage of the organizations. There's a really huge network. There's a lot of opportunities um, at a and So definitely do not wait until your senior year to be figuring things out. Like no, start as soon as you get there. That way you can build relationships and friendships and networks and you never know what kind of doors will open for you. Now, and the eighth and final thing that I will say about a and is that bottom line, it is a good school. It's not perfect. There are some things that I don't like about it. There are, you know, some things that I experienced that, you know, I didn't really like, but the good outweighs the bad by so much more. Like I have met so many great people. I've had so many great opportunities and so many doors open for me by going to AM that I like, I'm I have no regrets. Like I have no regrets at all. So bottom line is it really is a good school and you know it just like anything else and if you decide to go anywhere else the bottom line is your experience will be what you make it so i wish you all the best well you guys that's all that i have for this video today i hope you guys liked it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i will definitely answer them um make sure that you also give this video a nice big fat thumbs up Make sure that you turn that blue button up like this. And also be sure to hit the big fat red subscribe button for new videos every single week. And the notification bell for when, uh, you, so you can get notified whenever I do upload. That's all that I have for today. I'm signing out. I'm Serena K. And I hope that you guys continue to have an amazing day. Thanks and gig em.